What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Simply Chaotic and today I felt like after that horrible Beyond the Doors uh, booster box series uh, that we changed the gear up here and uh, do some turn of the tide um, booster packs. Uh, this set has a lot of really great cards. There's a lot of really great ultras that we could try to pull. Um, obviously there's the Iflar but honestly not really expecting that from this set. It's a very very hard card to come across. I, I know that there's people that have said that they've opened like thousands of these packs and have yet to get them. Um, but a uh, there is Lord Von Blute in this set so it would be really cool to see him. Um, but yeah, I mean, really, any card that's that we don't have would be awesome. And after that horrible booster box opening, uh, we could really use some luck to turn this around. So we do have six packs, and we'll have another opening with six more packs. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into it. So like I said, uh, we've got six packs open here. And I believe I did weigh these before because these, these packs are a little bit different than our previous series that we did in which they will have uh three they'll have like two rares and they'll have the third card option to be a super rare so they will have one more foil in this set so i did uh, a quick test to see if uh you know the weight um, that you can do with like pokemon cards works on this set too so i think the first two i weighed and they were like six ounces and the rest of them were uh were five ounces so I'm hoping that uh, this one will have that additional foil card so there's evergreen tunic that's a pretty cool card and an uncommon all right so our first one is blazer map collection blazers map collection uh, this is equipped creature moved if the equipped creature moved this turn at the beginning of the combat reveal a new active location so this is a pretty cool pretty cool card I don't think I have that one actually and then we got the uh, Shard Crafters Workshop, uh, also another cool card. I do believe I have this one. Uh, shards gain, equipped creature deals an additional five attack damage, battle gear may not be flipped down. And wisdom is the initiative. So that's a cool card. And uh, well, our theory is wrong. Uh, we've got another uncommon, or actually, sorry, common. That's a common card. Um, so it looks like that got debunked a little bit. This card, actually I can feel this one. This one's got like the sensor in it. So this was one of the heavier packs, but I felt the sensor in it. So I kind of, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really count, uh, cause it's got an additional, basically additional card probably weighs actually more than a regular card. So we're going to do three and turn it around. All right. So just some, some comments here. There's that missile one. Cool looking Danian. There's a cool looking like, I don't know, it looks like a mini staff or maybe that's like a giant hand. And our first one is Infectious Implosion. We've got him a couple times in previous ones. And we got a Mepedian War Beast. Uh, so we got this uh, Gaftra, I think is what is how you pronounce his name. Uh, he's a, a pretty cool War Beast. Uh, he's a lot better with the stats, typically um, War Beast will have like one of basically three things. Um, they'll either have like a uh, an, a lot of element types that'll have like element ten or five or something like that, or they have really great stats or really great energy. So it looks like this guy really just has really great stats. I mean, he's got power of uh, one hundred and five and wisdom one hundred, which is pretty crazy. And we did get a super out of this one. We got uh, Vixpin. So this is a Fluid Morpher, uh, and his special ability is when an opposing creature plays a Mugic card, remove all Mugic counters from Vixpin. If you remove more Mugic counters this way, then the Mugic cards cost negate that Mugic. So that's a, good, that's a pretty good card. So we got a super after the first pack. Uh, that's, that's pretty good, right? Alrighty. So let's get into the next one. That is pretty strange that a, a war beast would have pretty high wisdom because I, I thought that they were typically very reckless, really unintelligent beasts. Um, but I guess it's just to provide some variety in uh, in those cards. So this one's pretty cool. The flight flute. There was a there was a couple episodes with that one in it, uh, and of course the axe. That's in like all of Rothar's episodes. That's like his go-to. 
And all right, so our rare is Harmonious High Song. So we've gotten that one before, and we got Orth Power. We've also gotten him a couple times. And we got another super. It is a Mugic, though. It is uh, Symphonic Pelag Pelagic uh, Marsong. And actually, you know what? I do believe we have gotten this one, too. Uh, Mugic and active abilities may not be played. I think we have gotten that one, actually, before. So back-to-back -back supers. Got to feel pretty good about that. Um, let's hope that that luck can continue. And maybe we can pull an archer out of it. Wow, this one is open and deflated a bit here. So hopefully this isn't this hasn't been tampered with. Um, I, like I said in previous videos, I'd be very careful when you're buying individual packs. Uh, I didn't really learn this lesson until prior to buying this one. Actually, this card right here. Maybe it was just uh, one of those sets that there's there was a little bit of damage to it. These both these cards got a little bit of damage, so. And this one's peeled right here. This is very disappointing. Hopefully the cards that we care about are not hurt. So, all right. So we got Langor is our first one. And it does look like it has a crease in the top here. So that is a bummer. And we got uh, Dragora. And then we just got a common. So uh, we didn't get our, we didn't get a super or an ultra out of that one. But honestly, probably pretty happy that we didn't <laughs> in that one. Uh, since the cards wore bent. Um don't want to it just it, it'd be a little bit of a bummer to pull an ultra and wow those cards are backwards uh well i think we might be all mixed up here i wonder if i pulled the two okay so all right we can continue so yeah like i said before uh, if you uh buy these individual packs i think sometimes what happens is people will buy a big old box of them so we got worth and we got Harmonious High Song again. They'll buy a whole, you know, booster box of them, and they will go through opening them until they come across the Ultra, which there's typically only one, maybe possibly two Ultras in a in a booster box. And so once they get that Ultra, they don't really need, they don't have a need for any of the supers, so they will sell off uh, the remaining uh, packs. So you don't have the same advantage of, of like buying a sealed booster box. So I'd just be careful if you're just wanting to open up and uh, relive some of that nostalgia. So we got him again. Uh, then it's probably okay. But if you're looking specifically specifically for an ultra in a set, uh, I would recommend going with some sealed ones. Wow. So we got uh, a lot of the same cards from these sets. Uh, a lot of the same supers. A little bit of a bummer, but uh, we did get a couple of new cards, so not too upset. Like this Blazers map collection, that is a new card for me. Um, but we did not get an Ultra from these ones, so hopefully we get it in the next six packs that we'll be opening. If you guys like this content, please uh, subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. We will be back for six more packs next week. Thank you guys.